Hello dudes, final boss of the interwebs here. Yeah. <clears throat> Before I get started, I would like to make very clear that this video is against the TFL, the True Forced Loneliness Movement. Sorry, bunny ears. Movement. You're not a movement. Okay. Another thing I would like to make very clear before I start. I know you fuckers like to, um, like to use your DMCA swinging it around like it's some god cock or something. You cannot DMCA me for speaking. It is free fucking speech. It is covered by the First Amendment. <coughs> Nothing can override that. Another thing before I get started. Yeah. Skeptical fist. Do you mean a knife like this? <laughs> or... I'm not gonna bother taking this out of the sheath, but one like this. Oh yeah, look at all that. Yeah. Okay. Now that all that's over... I did some research into the uh, TFL movement <laughs> and here's what they are. They're a bunch of, well, primarily men who have been rejected by girl after girl after girl after girl um, very quickly. Have you ever thought that you could be you know, getting rejected because of, hmm, I don't know, your attitudes, uh, your negative outlook on life. Cosmo is not part of the New World Order. It's not part of some grand conspiracy to make you alone. The only conspiracy that is working against you for being alone is your god-awful bad attitude. Oh, well, I'm gonna feel sorry for myself because these girls won't date me. Oh, hey, I agree with you there, Bob. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Hmm. You know, you get about 10, 15 drinks in a person who's just been rejected, and they'll call anything a fucking conspiracy. There's a moth in here. Anything. It becomes a conspiracy. Okay. Try this. I smoke camel non-filtered cigarettes. They cost $6.50 a pack. When I started smoking about 11 years ago, I was paying about 450 to 5 bucks a pack. I can easily call this a conspiracy against smokers, or I could take it that extra step, like the TFL does, and say, oh, wait, well, it's a conspiracy against me personally. Huh. How do I work that out? Well, the government must be putting up prices and raising taxes because they don't want me to smoke. So on and so forth. I'm taking this example too far. I'm not an attractive guy by any means. I've had my fill of rejection, but does that mean I'm gonna sit here and feel sorry for myself? Motherfuckers, listen. What you're experiencing is emo-ness. I'm surprised you're not swafting your hair, 
cutting your wrists, wearing your little sister's pants, and listening to Hawthorne Heights. Quit crying about your fucking loneliness and do something about your fucking loneliness. Again, I'm gonna go back to Cosmo is not a fucking arm of the government that is forcing you to be alone. You, your mind, your actions, your attitude is what's forcing you to be alone. Now, you may be fugly as a goddamn pit bull, but that doesn't mean that you can't be, or doesn't mean that you have to be lonely. I know some pretty fucking ugly people who are not lonely. And take it from me, these guys are pretty well off. They, you know, they got with a very good looking woman. Hell, I'm one of them. <laughs> um, no. There is no conspiracy to make you feel alone. Society set the standards. The problem is that people are believing these standards. It, ever since, I think it was the 60s or 70s, it's been the social norm to be skinny, to have, like, beautiful hair and perfect teeth and perfect eyes and be well-groomed and dress right and drive the right car. These are socially acceptable norms simply because society has accepted these norms. Motherfuckers grow a brain. Seriously. Society doesn't have to accept these norms. You don't have to be a size 4 or below to be beautiful. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be dressed all in a nice suit and not have a fucking beard to be a hot guy. You don't have to subscribe to these bullshit ideals. for it to work. All of you in the TFL who loathe the dating scene, capitalized by the way, I don't know why, but all of you in the dating scene, all of you in the TFL who loathe the dating scene, do so because you've been rejected. Fine. I hated the dating scene because I've been rejected. But that doesn't mean that there is psyops going on or mythology being spewed against you. What I'm saying, I'm reiterating. There is no fucking conspiracy against you. This is not part of the New World Order. The New World Order doesn't care who you date, or what you look like. There is no New World Order. And if there is a New World Order, then God damn it, I'm wrong. But there is not one. There is no New World Order. You guys are simply feeling sorry for yourselves. Go out, find a girlfriend, have some fun. Make your life better. Otherwise, quit fucking whining. Again, I'll restate what I stated at the beginning. You cannot DMCA me for speaking this. If you try, then, uh, sorry, you know. I'm protected by free speech. Just like I can say, fuck religion. And I can say, fuck you, Brian Hill. And fuck you, Alex Jones. And fuck you, Glenn Beck. And fuck you, Bill O'Reilly. And fuck you, Rush Limbaugh. Fuck 
Fuck your team! <laughs> this is the final boss of the interwebs. Peace. Motherfucker.